Hey, listen to this, Vooj. I will show you Monster Zero. Hey, look! It's King Ghidorah. Can't you just drive it away? If you have an idea how to do it, won't you tell us? Well, I don't know about you, Fooj, but I got an idea. Lay it on me, Glenn. Okay, they're these humane mouse traps back on Earth. I think they're called mouse cubes. Cubes, eh? Yeah, but they really aren't cubes. They're actually right rectangular prisms. Like a cuboid. That's right, old bunny. You see, the door is just slightly longer than the entrance, and it bends inward. So the mouse gets in all right, but it can't get out. Not enough room for the door to swing back. Are you writing this down, controller? This is gold. Or do you water? I don't think you understand. We simply wish to borrow from you on Earth the Monster Zero One and Monster Zero Two, Godzilla and Rodan. Nah, you don't need them. We can handle this. Now, about those mouse cubes. Yeah, all we need is one of the mouse cubes. You just gotta scale it up to size a bit, controller. Gentlemen, I assure you, we have pursued every alternative. The only remaining option is the Oxygen Destroyer. Yeah, that little gem that Serizawa was working on some time back. You think you can get in touch with him? Sure thing. He's an old friend. Boy, we haven't spoken in years. Can I borrow this phone controller? Okay, thanks. Gentlemen, I I'm understand what you're trying Sarazawa. to do. And really? although I am very thanks. grateful, he passed away. Serizawa, you kidding me? How'd it happen? Killed himself with his own Oxygen Destroyer. Apparently, he took out the first Godzilla in the process. Something about unrequited love. Well, that's a fine hill of beans. Call a guy and it turns out he went and killed himself over some dame. Please, time is of the essence. I've got it, Fooj. This'll do it for sure. Marmalade. Marmalade, controller. Are you paying attention? All we have to do is offer King Geeter a gigantic jar of marmalade. When his heads get stuck in the jar, you have one of your saucers transported to a holding cell in the asteroid belt. And here's the kicker. The holding cell is a giant mouse cube. Fits like a glove donut controller. I must insist. Godzilla and Rodan are the only solution. If Earth will cooperate, we are prepared to pay her. Your medical men on Earth have not yet achieved a cure for the rocking pneumonia and the boogie woogie flu. Is that correct? We are prepared, therefore, to give you a medical drug that will cure these serious conditions. <laughs> <laughs> sure, we'll do that. We'll give you Godzilla and Rodan, and then you'll end up using them against us. How, how did you know? Come on, this is 1960X. Give us a little credit, controller. Wait a second. What if we shrink Ghidorah? Now, why didn't I think of that? You're brilliant. Fuge, what's the plan? First, we'll need to get in touch with Rick Moranis. Wait a second. What if we turn Ghidorah into chocolate? Now, why didn't I think of that? You're brilliant. Fuge, what's the plan? First, we'll need to get in touch with Majin Buu. We have to go now, controller. We have a lunch date with my sister and her... Yeah. Boyfriend. Wormhole activate. That didn't quite go as planned. Hey, Fuge, I'm screaming, will ya? I got a date. But I just said I was meeting my sister here. Wait, you've got a date? With a Japanese girl? <laughs> Not the wrong kind, I hope. Name's Gogo Yubari. You know her? I'd pass on that one if I were you. Sure thing, old buddy. You know best. Besides, I met this cute little thing on Planet X. There were women up there? Yeah, and they all look alike, too. You know what that means. I think my chances are A-OK -okay that at least one of them won't run at the first sight of my Nicolas Cage memorabilia. Just look at this. Glenn, that's the Declaration of Independence. I'll give it back. When I'm done. When did you find time to check out Girls on Planet X? Remember when you were in the can? I've got a pee. Can I use your bathroom controller? No, you may not. Hey, thanks. See, I snuck into one of the hydrogen oxide plants and met a whole bunch of beautiful dames. Wait, why would they have an H2O plant? Come to think of it, I think Planet X might be very short of water. What makes you think that? Things. Hey, controller, I'm parched. This Dixie Cup of H2O just ain't doing it for me. Please, sir, I want some more. Mr. Auger, I beg your pardon, sir. Astronaut Glenn has asked for more. For more? Compose yourself, controller, and answer me distinctly. Do I understand that he asked for more? After he had drunk the water allotted by the dietary? He did, sir. Point taken. Your sister's taking a sweet time, huh? She's always late. We've been here the whole time. Well, if it isn't my dear unsoiled dove of a sister, the very essence of chaste purity. Oh yeah, and her amphibious suitor. Shouldn't you be trying to find the rainbow connection or something? I am not Kermit the Frog. I am Tatsuo Terry, inventor of non-lethal sonic weaponry. For children! Boy, oh boy, it's not easy being green.
I mean, it's not easy finding soy cheese without casein. Brother, do you still go out in public in full uniform? A real astronaut dies with his oxygen helmet on, right, Glenn? Which is somewhat ironic if you think about it, but speak for yourself, I'm going commando. Not exactly full uniform, right, old buddy? Ha! I'm still wearing my maximum absorbency garment. Y you do know you're supposed to get your mag changed frequently, right, Fuge? Yes, because doing otherwise would be wrong. And Grandma's little baby knows how to use the potty. Well, I just lost my appetite. How about you, love bites? I could go for some mousse. Yeah, you're about the only one left in this restaurant. Hey, Terry, I heard you sold one of your inventions. Have they paid you yet? I want dollars and cents, Terry. Only a down payment of 500 grand. That's what I thought. Terry, I think a great deal of my sister, so I'm giving you five seconds to commit seppuku. Okay. That's a bit harsh, don't you think, Fuge? Hey, at least you didn't say it. So, what do you think, Terry? Reasonable option? I guess so. Why are you so mean to him? You know what? We have mutual trust. What do you think, Glenn? Doesn't that count for something? I think so. Mutual trust is a beautiful thing. Like a box of Just for Men on a Friday night. Or an autographed photo of Ms. Kumi Mizuno. Oh, Glenn, mutual trust won't buy groceries. Yes, it will. I knew this couple one time. They and mutual trust out the wazoo. They walk into a piggly wiggly and tell the manager, and they get two boxes of P.F. Chang's home menu right from the freezer aisle. That sounds like a grocery to me, old buddy. You're fighting me. You always agree with the girls. No, I just never agree with you. It's not my fault that you're always fighting with girls. Now, if you'll excuse me, Planet X Female Unit 037 awaits, a.k.a. Mizunamikawa. The enemy is very powerful. You better do something spectacular. Just don't join the RDA's private security force. You ain't gonna impress nobody killing Navi. Excuse me. Gentlemen, please forgive my intrusion, but you kind of left me hanging. About Godzilla and Rodan. Hey. We'll get back to you. That's probably a no. Hey, everybody, who wants to go to Lake Myogen for a day trip? Sure! sure. What do you mean, Lake Myogen? Hey, what's that? Fancy meeting you here! <laughs> Likewise! What do you make of that? Yeah, they were here already. You remember giving them permission to take our muscles? I don't remember giving them permission. I think I will skip the usual charade and simply declare Earth a colony of Planet X. May I introduce to you your new colonial commander? I will be tough but fair. I have many infrastructure projects in mind, including updates to the Chicago Skyway. We shall collect fresh water for our own use and redistribute the excess around the globe. We also have an aromatic beverage that we will export to Colony 03, aka Earth. It is called Key, and we would like everyone to try some. Our soldiers are now distributing key cups to the crowd, and the crowd is now remarking about the mild astringency which they find delightfully superior to their local equivalents. I wish we could show this to the audience at home. They are now returning the key cups, and the camera is about to switch views to astronaut Glenn. Though there will be no sign that he ever consumed our delicious beverage, he will remark, That was sure tasty stuff, Control, and it's like a mix of constant Comic green Daniel Gray all mixed into one. My head's buzzing from the caffeine, and now I seem to be crashing. Oh, I sleep now. <gasps> there is one catch, however. We will require our colonists to pay a key tax. It is a very minimal fee to cover the administrative costs that our provincial government may incur on this planet. Nobody. But nobody levies a modest tax on a non-essential commodity and gets away with it on this planet. You hear that, Controller George the Third? Who told you my full name? You found my Facebook page, didn't you? I told them. Oh, Controller, you must understand. I've fallen for this earthling uh, plan and given away many of our secrets. He must have told Fuji and the others. You must try to understand. Glenn is like... Like John Wayne and Marlon Brando all mixed into one. Did you tell them about my littlest pet shop collection? They even know about the field of daffodils, the very source of our power. And I might have slipped and told them about our weakness to shrill high-pitched sounds, but I can't remember. What? What, what was that about shrill sounds? Oh yeah, she did mention something about that. Terry, quick! Use the Lady God alum to subdue these interplanetary conquistadors. But they're the ones I sold the prototype to. Well, somebody do something. Go, Nami! People of planet Earth, listen to my dissonance. Feel the sting inside your head, the ever-increasing annoyance. I want to jump for joy like the fucking rising tide. This sounds like rubbing your brain with sodium hydroxide. It's too painful, too incredibly piercing. We'll escape, we'll escape into the future, into that dimension we've never seen. All of you, join me in escape. Activate the time machine. Yay! Yay! So what happened exactly? I'm not too sure, but why do I have the feeling that I've had significantly less to do than usual? Hey Namikawa, how about you and me tying the knot, eh? Oh Glenn, there is nothing I would want more. You know where I can get any more of that key? 
I now name you Female Unit 037, the new controller regnant of Planet X. And you, Astronautical N, will be controller consort. Well, the real question is who wears the pants? She rules you have a title. So to answer your question, she quote unquote wears the pants. Make me a sandwich, baby. Yes, ma'am. <laughs>